here and we see what this is. But I don't care, I'm gonna eat it anyways. Look how big it is. <laughs> it's like the best hangover food ever. So we got our stretchy pants on and we're ready. What's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. If you've been following along the last few weeks, you would know that we're currently exploring the oldest city in the Philippines, Cebu City. In the last few episodes, we've taken you to a lot of amazing food spots here, but now it's time to give you guys the ultimate breakdown of our top 5 must-try dishes in Cebu. But first, a short intro. We're Carrie and Chris. We are ex-chefs and full-time travelers as of 2021. We sold everything we owned and left our beautiful home in Kauai to pursue a nomadic life and fulfill our dreams of exploring the world and finding the best food in each country we visit. We hope you stick around and experience this wonderful journey with us in this amazing little community we like to call the Traveling Chefs. Before we continue, don't forget to press the subscribe button for more videos like this. At the very top of the list, of course, we have Cebu's famous lechon. There are many amazing restaurants all around the city known for their lechon such as CNT Lechon and Rico's Lechon, but we chose House of Lechon to try their spicy Car Car Lechon and we were so impressed by how tender, juicy, and flavorful their lechon was. So, Car Car Lechon is the famous Cebu lechon. So they use suckling pigs. If you don't know what a suckling pig is, it's a baby pig. This place is so known for their lechon, they actually have a theme song that constantly plays in the background. Lechon, lechon, maganda Cebu. Fresh skin. So our rice. Mm. Oh, so good. Spicy. Sweet, it's got, it's seasoned really well. It has the salt content, it's not just roasted pork. And it's got this, this sweetness to it, it's like almost melt in your mouth kind of. Oh, that's amazing. Aside from their Car Car Lechon, we also recommend you to order their Cebu Express, which goes perfectly with the Lechon. Cebu Express is really, really good. It actually goes good with everything. For appetizers, try their amazing baked cheesy scallops. You will not be disappointed. The scallops are really good. It's like a cheesy... Cheesy butter sauce with crispy garlic bits on it. Wow, that was so good. We absolutely smashed everything. Thumbs up, this place is great. I would come back here with a, for a bigger plate of the chunk next time. Next on the list is Cebu's original shomai satisa. Shomai are steamed Chinese pork dumplings, and tisa is a district within Cebu where they made shomai so good it became widely popular all over Cebu. Luckily, you don't have to travel all the way to Tisa to enjoy this dish. There are many places in Cebu City that serve their shomai with the original recipe. For this, we recommend Michelle's original shomai satisa located in Fuente. It's a small hole in the wall on the side of the street, perfect for that Cebu street food experience. It's a small alleyway with a few tables and chairs for you to enjoy your shomai, or you can take it to go and enjoy it at home. Okay, the show is pretty, pretty bang. It's a lot more flavorful than normal shomai, I feel. It's pretty badass shomai. It's like a super moist pork little ball with like ginger and onion and garlic and the blanc honey wrapper and steam. It's so good. It's a worthwhile stop. I was Next up is Cebu's ultimate street food, delicious fried delicacies, also known as hangover food. Just a few short minutes away from Michelle's shomai, you will find Cebu's famous Punko Punko Safuente. With its charming and simple layout of just a few stalls spread around this small compound, this is another street food experience you cannot miss when you visit Cebu. Their fried crab, ngohyong, and lumpia are some of our favorite items here. Mm. This would go really good with like an ice cold beer. Really cool place though. They have fans going. It's actually pretty pretty cool in here and the food's really good. Everything's good. The bulak lak. Lumpia. Stuffed crabs are to die for. This is a really good lunch, very heavy lunch. This would definitely be the perfect cure for a hangover. 
Next up, sitting at number 4 on our list is Sutukil, which stands for Sugba, Tuwa, and Kilau. It loosely translates to grilled, soup, and eaten raw in vinegar or ceviche style. This is a great way to enjoy Cebu's super fresh seafood and different styles of cooking. Our top choice for Sutukil is STK Tabay at Paulito Seafood House, which is located at Klimako Street. Our absolute favorite dishes were their grilled tuna jaw. It melts in your mouth. Get the slightest a bit of texture to it. I see why that's the specialty. I understand that. <laughs> I get it. It makes sense. It's, it's really, really good. Really good. Lapu Lapu Sinigang. Sinigang is really good. It's really good. It's not, it's not too, too sour. Sinigang is excellent. No, lapu Lapu. and kilaw na tanige. What's up? The perfect ceviche. Except with vinegar. Vinegar, just a little bit of sugar. Touch of calamansu. Good, spicy, fresh. Ultra tender, fish. Although we should warn you that they have minimums for their dishes. Look at this giant bowl of silica. <laughs> so we recommend that you come with a big group so you can finish them all. It's a lot of food. It's a lot of soup. So between the two of us, we have about a kilo and a half of food. It's like three pounds of food coming, coming at us. So I'm, I'm, I'm super nervous. I'm really hungry, but I don't think there's, we're going to be able to finish it. And I'm going to feel really bad if we don't finish all of it. <laughs> and lastly, our absolute favorite dish for breakfast or afternoon snack, also known here in the Philippines as merienda, is their putomaya with sikwate. For this, we recommend Tablea Chocolate Cafe located in JY Square Mall. Order their putomaya set which includes the putomaya, a delicious hot cup of sikwate, and served with some fresh mango. The combination of flavors and textures is just divine. Usual fondue. <laughs> it's good. It's really good. It's actually a really good variant of the cold mango. It's actually really good. Cold mango, hot chocolate, warm, sticky rice. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> this has got to be one of my new favorite desserts. Mm. Oh my god. I can eat this all day. Mm. You have to order this when you come to Cebu. I said how much we love Filipino mangoes. <laughs> Combination of bitter chocolate with sweet mango and delicious, just simple sticky rice cake is just unbelievable. What about you? Do you have any favorites in Cebu City? Drop them down in the comments below so we can check them out. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like for more videos like this. We're gonna keep exploring the Philippines in search of the best food spots in this country. To watch our full Cebu food trip episodes, click on these two links for a more detailed video. See you at our next province coming up next week, the City of Smiles, Bacolod City. So we're here at the best of the best in Bacolo. We're at Menokin country, which is the Inasol hub of the world. Look at that.